This is the LG Optimus GE970 Take Apart Repair Guide brought to you by Repairs Universe. To perform this repair, we're going to use a safe open pry tool, a Torx T5 screwdriver, a small Phillips screwdriver, and for screen replacements, we're going to use fresh adhesive. To begin, we're just going to remove this clip here and remove the SIM card and memory card. On the bottom of the device, we'll have two Torx T5 screws that we'll need to remove. With the screws removed, we can now use the safe open pry tool and glide it along the outside edges of the back housing. This will release the back battery cover. You can want to start near the top here, work your way around releasing all the clips. Clips are pretty sturdy on this device, just work your way around. Once clips are released, you'll be able to remove the back battery cover. Once we have the back battery cover removed, we're going to use our safe open pry tool and lift back this tape covering the battery connector. The battery connector is held in place with two small Phillips screws. We're just going to want to remove those. We then use our safe open pry tool to gently lift the connection. This is a simple pop connector. From there we can use our pry tool to start lifting the outside edges of the battery. It is held in place with a little bit of adhesive. You want to make sure not to bend the battery in any sort of way. Once the adhesive is released, we can then remove the battery. We now have 11 small Phillips screws that will need to be removed. The top 9 silver screws will all be the same size, and the bottom 2 black ones will be different. So once we have all the screws removed, we're now going to use our safe open pry tool and remove the upper housing here. This is just some plastic housing, so you want to be careful not to break it or apply too much pressure. Just use your safe open pry tool and get underneath it and release some of the clips. Once you get just a few of these clips released, you will then be able to lift away the top cover. next step will be removing the lower cover here which includes the loudspeaker. I'm just going to use a safe open pry tool and gently lift up. It is wedged in the housing quite stiffly so you want to make sure that you don't break it. Just take your time, work your way around the outside. And we can then remove it from the device. With the motherboard now exposed fully, we're going to release eight connections. They will all be pop or antenna cables. We'll also need to lift up on the camera here and the volume button flex. We're going to start with these bottom two antenna cables. It's going to want to apply a little bit of pressure up and release them from the sockets. With those released, we're going to release this pop connector here for the lower flex cable another antenna cable here. This is going to be a touchscreen flex cable and LCD screen flex cable. You can just pull those back. Then we have the audio headphone jack right there. I'm just going to try to lift up on the camera a little bit and remove it from its socket. It is held in place with a little bit of adhesive so we're just going to remove it or release the connection right there. That way we can move the motherboard around it. And finally we're just going to release that final antenna cable. With all the connections released, we're now going to carefully lift up on the motherboard and remove it. We'll be very careful here as you don't want to rip any cables. You want to keep an eye out on that volume button flex cable right there as well. Just gently slide it up and out of the device. There we go. Now that we've got the motherboard f fully removed, we're going to release that camera, which can be a little bit stubborn as it is held in place with a little bit of adhesive. I'm going to pop that out of the socket. We're also going to remove the headphone jack up here. It is attached with a little sensor flex cable right here, so you want to make sure you release that first. And then get underneath the headphone jack itself. 
it will also be held in place with just a little bit of adhesive. On the left here, I'm just going to remove this rubber grommet, which is covering the LCD flex cable. That way we can fully remove that. I'm just going to peel back the tape. There we go. I'm going to remove this information sticker right here. And now we're going to release this antenna cable, which is pinched in on the top here. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. So we're going to move this lower flex cable. This one is also held in place with adhesive. Just slowly work your way around. This has your charge port as well. I'm just going to remove that antenna and slowly work our way around, releasing that adhesive so we can remove that keypad flex. Now we're going to come back and release this last antenna cable. Alright, we're just going to put that to the side until we assembly. From here we're going to begin warming the outside edges of the front of the screen assembly. We're just going to use a hair dryer here. You can also use a heat gun. We're just going to use a medium setting a few inches away from the device. We're going to use quick movements around the outside edges. This will warm the adhesive and make it much easier to release the screen assembly from the front housing. This normally takes about 30 to 45 seconds to properly heat it. Once it's been properly heated, we're just going to use a safe open pry tool. We're going to start up here on the top near the speaker mesh. It's gives us a good point of entry to begin releasing some of that adhesive. As you can tell, this screen is pretty well cracked up, so we're not expecting to get it out in one full piece. But we're just going to start working our way from the top here. As you can tell, this adhesive is pretty strong. But we're just going to keep continue working on the left side here get underneath the LCD screen and touch screen. As you can see a couple of shards of glass are coming off. And it's going to continue working around the outside edges here. And we can then release the screen assembly from the front housing. We're then just going to clean up the outside edges here from all the rest of the debris and adhesive. You can now replace your screen assembly. Be sure to check us out at repairsuniverse.com where you can find all the parts and tools used in this video. Also make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching.